Millions of years go by, the climate shifts again, and the reptiles are among the first to recover and repopulate the empty earth. From creatures like little Diictodon, larger, stronger herbivores evolve. These tough forerunners of mammals seem poised to seize control for good, but they are in fact set to play out their final scene. And huge forests of primitive conifer start to recolonize the land. In these new forests, plant eaters recover first. One in particular. Like most of the large reptiles, they may resemble dinosaurs, but Lystrosaurus are more closely linked to mammals and to us. Astonishingly, their vast herds make up more than half of all life on Earth. Never again will a single species do so well. The monster herds of Lystrosaurus hoover up so much vegetation that they constantly migrate to find fresh food. They follow the seasonal rains, and each year in Antarctica, this brings them to the edge of a huge escarpment. The front of the vast Lystrosaurus herd finally reaches the river. They're strong swimmers, but drowning is not the danger here. They linger at the river's edge, reluctant to go in. For reptiles, they have relatively large brains and they may remember what happened last year. But with more Lystrosaurus arriving all the time, the backlog will soon force them in. On the other side, lush grazing beckons, and eventually, the first one takes the plunge. A strong swimmer, he quickly makes it to the other side, but with the steep banks he's still got to find a place where he can get ashore, and every extra moment in the water increases the risk. More and more Lystrosaurus warily strike out for the other side. The herd is soon reforming on the other side. But the brief glory days of these strange mammal-like reptiles will soon be gone. 